Yovelim Jubilees 22. And it came to pass in the first week, in the 44th Jubilee, in the second year, that is, the year in which Avraham died, that Yitzhak and Yishmael came from the well of the oath to celebrate the feast of Shavuot, that is, the feast of the first fruits of the harvest to Avraham, their father. And Avraham rejoiced because his two sons had come, for Yitzhak had many possessions in Be'er Shiva, and Yitzhak was wont to go and see his possessions and to return to his father. And in those days, Yishmael came to see his father, and they both came together, and Yitzhak offered a sacrifice for a burnt offering and presented it on the altar of his father, which he had made in Kevran. And he offered a thank offering and made a feast of joy before Yishmael, his brother, and Rivka made new cakes from the new grain and gave them to Yaakov, her son, to take them to Avraham, his father, from the first fruits of the land, that he might eat and bless the creator of all things before he died. And Yitzhak, too, sent by the hand of Yaakov to Avraham a best thank offering that he might eat and drink. And he ate and drank and blessed El Elyon, who has created heaven and earth, who has made all the fat things of the earth and given them to the children of men, that they might eat and drink and bless their creator. And now I give thanks unto you, my Elohim, because you have caused me to see this day. Behold, I am one hundred three score and fifteen years, and old man and full of days, and all my days have been unto me peace. The sword of the adversary has not overcome me in all that you have given me and my children all the days of my life until this day. My Elohim, may your mercy and your peace be upon your servant and upon the seed of his sons, that they may be to you a chosen nation and an inheritance from amongst all the nations of the earth from henceforth unto all the days of the generations of the earth, unto all the ages. And he called Yaakov and said, My son Yaakov, may the Elohim of all bless you and strengthen you to do righteousness and his will before him. And may he choose you and your seed that ye may become, rather, that ye may become a people for his inheritance, according to his will always. And do you, my son Yaakov, draw near and kiss me. And he drew near and kissed him, and he said, Blessed be my son Yaakov, and all the sons of El Elyon, unto all the ages. May Elohim give unto you a seed of righteousness. And some of your sons may he sanctify in the midst of the whole earth. May nations serve you. And all the nations bow themselves before your seed. Be strong in the presence of men. And exercise authority. All rather, over all the seed of Shet. Then your ways and the ways of your sons will be justified, so that they shall become a holy nation. May El Elyon give you all the blessings wherewith he has blessed me, and wherewith he blessed Noach 
and Adam, may they rest on the sacred head of your seed from generation to generation forever. And may he cleanse you from all unrighteousness and impurity, that you may be forgiven all the transgressions which you have committed ignorantly. And may he strengthen you and bless you. And may you inherit the whole earth. And may he renew his covenant with you. That you may be to him a nation for his inheritance for all the ages. And that he may be to you and to your seed an Elohim in truth and righteousness throughout all the days of the earth. And do you, my son Yaakov, remember my words and observe the commandments of Avraham, your father. Separate yourself from the nations and eat not with them and do not according to their works and become not their associate for their works are unclean and all their ways are pollution and an abomination and uncleanness. They offer their sacrifices to the dead and they worship evil Ruachat, and they eat over the graves, and all their works are vanity and nothingness. They have no heart to understand, and their eyes do not see what their works are, and how they err in saying to a piece of wood, You are my Elohim, and to a stone, You are my Adonai, and you are my Deliverer. And they have no heart. And as for you, my son Yaakov, may El Elyon help you and the Elohim of heaven bless you and remove you from their uncleanness and from all their error. Be you aware, my son Yaakov, of taking a woman from any seed of the daughters of Canaan. For all his seed is to be rooted out of the earth. For owing to the transgression of Cham, Canaan, rather, Canaan erred, and all his seed shall be destroyed from off the earth, and all the remnant thereof, and None springing from him shall be saved on the day of judgment. And as for all the worshipers of idols and the profane, there shall be no hope for them in the land of the living, and there shall be no remembrance of them on the earth, for they shall descend into Sheol, and into the place of condemnation shall they go as the children of Chedam were taken away from the earth, so will all those who worship idols be taken away. Fear not, my son Yaakov, and be not dismayed, O son of Avraham. May El Elyon guard you from destruction, and from all the paths of error may he deliver you. This house have I built for myself, that I might put my name upon it in the earth. It is given to you and to your seed forever. And it will be named the house of Avraham. It is given to you and to your seed forever. For you will build my house and establish my name before Elohim forever. Your seed and your name will stand throughout all generations of the earth. 
and he ceased commanding him and blessing him, and the two lay together on one bed, and Yaakov slept in the bosom of Avraham, his father's father, and he kissed him seven times, and his affection and his heart rejoiced over him. And he blessed him with all his heart and said, El Elyon, the Elohim of all and creator of all, who brought me forth from Ur of the Kazdim, that he might give me this land to inherit it forever, and that I might establish a holy seed. Blessed be El Elyon forever. And he blessed Yaakov and said, My son, over whom with all my heart and my affection I rejoice, may your grace and your mercy be lift up upon him and upon his seed always. And do not forsake him, nor set him at naught from henceforth unto the days of eternity. And may your eyes be opened upon him, and upon his seed, that you may guard him and bless him and may sanctify him as a nation for your inheritance and bless him with all your blessings from henceforth unto all the days of eternity and renew your covenant and your grace with him and with his seed according to all your good pleasure, unto all the generations of the earth.